This is Jason. Jason is a member of the Freegans. I'm guessing there's probably going to be some tomatoes somewhere in here. Freegans employ a range of strategies for practical living based on their principles. Waste minimization, waste reclamation, eco-friendly transportation, rent-free housing, going green, working less, and voluntary joblessness. We're going to cut it up and peel it and cook it. And this is me. I first found out about Freegans while working on my bicycle at New York's Time's Up Bike Workshop. Freegan members catered a film screening there and encouraged us to join a tour sometime in the future. So one day, I did. Best of use by October 20th. A year later, I wouldn't identify myself as a Freegan, but I would say my exposure to this community has changed my views on consumption, waste, and the food production system. After hearing about Freegans, I noticed they were actively on the media's radar. Freegans, part vegan, part free. Kind of loose cross between vegetarians and anti-capitalists. They're unlikely scavengers. When they aired on Oprah this spring, I figured Freegans were going to be big. So Madeline and her Freegan group invited Lisa our cameras and some other first timers on what they call um, a, a trash tour. So I, I noticed though that most productions seem to approach the Freegan community with a limited number of themes. The shock of people digging through the trash and eating what they find. They eat food that others throw away. That people digging through garbage are educated and professionals who aren't living on the street. Many of these self-proclaimed dumpster divers are in fact educated professionals. I understand you had a totally different kind of job in life before this. Yes, I was an investment banker. And the danger of the food they find. Most of the food has just reached its sell-by date. You've never gotten food poisoning in a year and a half of eating exclusively stuff out of the trash. No, and people who eat at restaurants get food poisoning. In the interest of taking a new look at Freegans, I was able to bring After Ed to a weekend full of Freegan activities. If you're here for the Freegan trash tour, you're in the right place. When we open the, the garbage, we do it in a way in which we don't make a mess. And we leave it neater than we found it, or just as good. Instead of looking at the same themes the media seem to cover, I'd like to look at the community of knowledge sharing and action within and around the Freegan community. My name's Robin and I teach a class at NYU called the Invisible Metropolis. I brought my students last year on this tour and it was, I think, the most powerful thing we did all semester. And we did a lot of interesting things, but this was by far the most impressive learning experience for them. You can read about the quantity and the quality of waste that we'll see tonight and you can talk to people about it, but until you've actually opened a garbage bag and seen perfectly good food, that you would pay money for, sitting out for disposal, you don't get it. Frankly, after you go on a tour, you will feel like an idiot paying for a bagel ever again in your life. Try to get ourselves out of it as much as possible. And teach other people how they can get out of it too. We can build a network of people that don't use the capitalist model to live. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone's welcome to come to the feast tomorrow night at my house and I'll probably talk more about it later or you can just come up to me and ask me about it. I live in Brooklyn. The Freegan Feast happens once a month, usually towards the end of the month, and we change houses. Um, this month I'm hosting. Anyone else we know is invited. We try to just reach out and invite anyone who wants to come. First of all, these all come from large chain grocery stores, okay. and they're thrown away just daily. Um, one thing that I, this is a plantain that I got actually around the corner. That's great for having a stir fry or something. And this is actually from California. These, uh, you know, plates, pl uh, paper plates and styrofoam and plastic cups um, are, these were totally, these are freegan. Our group uses a, a website our website, freegan.info. We also use um, an email listserv and just word of mouth. There are like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people on our email list. So we just send the information out and we say that if you're interested in coming, contact 
you know, this person and you can find out when it is. And, and then we make sure we don't have too many people. The really, really free market put on by the In Our Hearts group was the most pleasant surprise of our after-ed look into Freegans. Hosted at St. Mark's Church in the East Village, it was a perfect example of how Freegans and non-formal learning communities educate each other about ways to live with less consumption. At the Really Really Free Market, we found those same discarded apples set up for Halloween games, more produce, household items, clothes, and surprisingly, a reference librarian and people giving free haircuts. Got in with the group that organizes it. Okay. So, Who organized it? Um, I, I think it's In Our Hearts. In Our Hearts? Yeah. Okay. I know a bunch of people from there and I was like, oh, you found out about I'm get free haircuts. I'm good at haircuts. Yeah, I don't have that much stuff. So I was like, give me skills. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I actually got a code. You got a code already? Yeah. I looked around. I might take some food. Take some food. Ask you some questions about how they're printed or how, I mean, like, yeah. all the different groups that brought these together. Uh, different corporate stores aren't on top of everything. Yeah. And these fine pamphlets are Someone near for you. Yeah. Or uh, they fall off the back of a truck. Yeah. That type of thing. Hey, guys. I was told that the Really Really Free Market will be a monthly event from now on. Based on how many resources the Freegans have online, I was expecting to find that Freegans rely heavily on the internet and computer-mediated communications. In actuality, it seems like word of mouth and the overlap of communities interested in wasting less and reusing more are the main form of communication. Rock out. Hi everybody, my name is Brooke Pride Mart. It's really nice to be here at the Really Really Free Market. Okay, here's some songs I wrote, probably one or two that I didn't. When you see a non-formal learning community like the Freegans, does it remind you of a group or community you know about? If so, please email us at aftered at tc.edu or contribute to a conversation about learning communities on our blog at aftered.tv.